Okay, we've got Taryn Durant, Emily Tapio, and Coach Gately. We'll open with a couple of com comments and thoughts, Coach. First of all, I, I just want to say to Mike and his staff and his team, it just, you know, it's been a gut wrenching year for them. Um, having coached and recruited Jenny, it's been an emotional ride for them. And uh, I know, I can't even imagine, you know, losing a tough game and being in this situation all year long. So I just wanted to kind of make that statement right from the beginning that I have all due respect and a lot of respect for that team and for Mike. And it was a tough game and it went our way this time, but, um, you know, wish them all the, be the best as they go to the NIT. Stephanie, will you take us back through the the time out there with what seven seconds, six seconds left, and what you were calling? Did you specifically want that was actually the call? You want? Well, you wanted that. Well, you know what happened? I looked and I'm thinking, <laughs> Tiff's off the court. Okay, that's our go-to for 40 minutes. Emily's off the court, and I'm looking around saying. <clears throat> Team Money, let's go, baby. It's your time. We're going to go flat screen for Team Money. And we kept it really light in the timeout, you know, because we knew. I mean, I have to tell you the story, Tyron, even though it's funny, but I know you go don't on, like it. But So ahead. it was like a one-point game. We were up. And when I put Taryn in, and this is like new territory for Taryn being in this situation, I go, she goes, talk to me, coach, talk to me. What do you want me to do? You want me to foul? I said, Taryn, we're up. <laughs> so no, I don't want you to foul. So um, so a lot of it was the most important thing. You know, you have Jamiris Davis taking a a foul shot. She hasn't been in that situation before. Tyron Durant taking a foul shot. And, you know, your go-to kids are off the court. But we found a way and we kept it light. And everybody, all year long, somebody different's been stepping up. So I'm just really, really proud and happy that the one senior that wasn't on the, that, you know, that, that usually isn't on the court that time. I just think it's just poetic justice that she made that play. Thank you, Coach. Taryn, you get to the line, two shots, make one, most likely you're going to be on top. What's going through your mind when you step to the line with those two opportunities? Um, we actually have a sports psychologist, Stu, and he talks a lot about just motion and staying within yourself. So I definitely focused on a lot of things that he's taught me. Um, I try to take deep breaths um, and just know that I've, I've taken thousands upon thousands of free throws in my life. Um, and I also recalled what Coach always says, up, over, and in. Um, and it worked my way. Tara, how important is it for you? You're the only senior left out on the court. <coughs> Emily's already fouled out. Tiff's already out. And grad students, the, both, all of you, it's your last chance here at the A-10 tournament. How important is it for you to get it done for them and obviously the rest of your teammates? Absolutely important. Utmost important. We were, I don't want to say desperate, but we, were, we wanted that win. We wanted to fight as hard as we could. And um, I'm very proud of my team. I don't think we ever gave up. We all believed um, that we were going to win. And we didn't. We didn't anticipate it being so close, but um, we definitely, we knew, we knew we had it in us to do it. All right, did you try to miss the second? I will say that I did. I did. We do have Good special job. situations. You did that? We do have special, Hell, special situations job. where um, um, I, I know that. on the clock it was a, a second and, and 1.7, 1.7, I believe. Was it 1.7? Um, so I, I knew that if I were to make it, they would, you know, probably um, inbound it and run a play. But um, try and get them in a scramble situation where they didn't know what to do, um, and, and and they got a rebound. And obviously they were unsure of what to run. So I think I don't know. My grandmother was definitely with me on that one. Emily, consequently, if she's at the line, you've been in a situation to where you're out with several minutes to play. How frustrating is that, first of all? But secondly, how do you lead from the bench? It's, I mean, yeah, that's a frustrating situation, but you can't let it show. I mean, it's a testament to my teammates and the maturity they've grown from the start of the season to now to be able to play without me or Tiff on the floor. And I thought they did an awesome job just staying together. And from the bench, you just got to keep giving them encouragement. Every time out, just come in, you know, we got this still, we got this. Like, I looked at G at one time out, and I said, I brought her in. I was like, do this one for me, please. And she was like, I got it. <laughs> so, I mean, I have to give it all to my teammates. They did a great job at the end, and Taryn especially. Um, who we tackled to the floor after. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Coach, did January 4th come back into your mind? Do you, did, you, <laughs> did you feel like you were li living in the twilight zone? Well, you know, the funny thing is we actually ran the right play this time because when we put Sarah was on the court again because Tiffany had fouled out the last time. And the play was when, when uh, you know, 23 went to the line, they were up – um, one, mm -hmm. I think, one. right? Mm -hmm. And so she had two shots, and she missed the first. So we took a timeout to ice her. 
And I said, all right, guys, if it's a three-point game, we're running this. If it's a two-point game, it's different. We're running this. We ran nothing. <laughs> we didn't come close to running anything. Taryn comes down, and she's like, oh, shoot, I'm open. Let's go. I decided she took to a three. You know, obviously, I would have wanted to take a dribble drive and go to the basket because we, we were only down one at the time. And then all of a sudden, paddles. Actually, we were down two. Mm -hmm. And paddles hit the, um, the three. So it was uh, poetic justice that we actually ran the play. Yeah. And Taryn made that play. <laughs> I learned from the first time. You were lucky this time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Karen, what did you see as that play was unfolding? Did, or were you a little taken aback that it opened up? Yeah, it did. It was it was almost uh, a little unreal. I think they they definitely uh, didn't communicate as well as they should have on the top screen. Um, and I saw 34 hesitate to get back to her man, so I thought the opening was wide open. Um, so why not go for it? And I'm I, I my strength is driving, so I decided to just go for it. Obviously, you guys have been in this situation already. Last year, you have to win three games in three days to go to the tournament. But how do you, you know, what is the process of preparing in such a short turnaround, especially when you're facing the best team in this conference? You know what? It, it it, right now, it's do or die. All the pressure's on George Washington. You know, we're the four seed. They're the one seed. They're, I mean, obviously, they're extremely talented. I'm watching them today. It's just they have so many weapons and so much depth. But we've been in this situation before. You know, we've faced this, these type of situations before. And our out-of-conference schedule has prepared us for this. And I think the conference, we're the fifth after the you know, the big five conferences, we're the number six rated conference in, in, you know, in the country. So, you know, we're going against this, you know, every single day. And I think the last time we played GW, I think the kids will understand it was probably one of our worst games of the year. And the kids haven't forgotten that. You know, that we didn't play well. Jones was 10 for 10. And she was kind of on fire. And, and um, you know, but they have a lot of different weapons. And when you have such a short time to turn around, it's just got to keep it simple and do the small things and do them well. Any more questions? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank